most countries in the developing world have dual economies. One that is completely plugged into the global economy and another that is almost independent of it. These two economies are sometimes in competition with one another and at other times are quite complementary. In this series of videos, I'll go into how both of these economies work and some of their characteristics while putting different futures in context. Some may label this the formal and informal economies. We'll look at how different sectors function and how they can be improved. You see, just like the formal sector, the informal sector also creates a lot of products and services. The reason why most of these products do not get formalized is because of a number of issues that we will be discussing. For the purpose of this video, we will use soap and its manufacture as our product of discussion. In order to set up formally, a business needs to meet multiple regulation and standards. These standards are often harmonized internationally to a great degree. Companies at the latent stage in developing economies are capitalist trained. So the bureaucracies that have to be met in order to meet the requirements act as a barrier of entry into the market. This is why so many businesses go the informal route in developing countries. In a country like Kenya, which is second in African ease of doing business, an international investor might find it easy to set up formally and may find the capital requirements better than any other place on the planet. But a local startup without the same level of sophisticated access to financing or business consulting cannot hope to formalize their business since the requirements are just out of reach, thus has to set up in the informal economy. Each of these investors chooses the economy that best suits them. In the informal economy, it is possible for an investor to avoid certain taxes, licenses, labor and environmental protection requirements, etc. In this case, the products put out is often vastly more affordable to the general public since the cost of production is so low. Harmonizing these dual economies without considering each of their uniqueness will be catastrophic. This is because international investment adds much needed capital injection into developing economies, while the informal economy creates much needed employment. The overwhelming majority of people in developing countries are employed in the informal sector. This dual economy setup has been a challenge for most governments in developing countries, since each segment of these two economies helps the overall country. China went through this 40 years ago, and they found a brilliant solution to this that I sh think should be emulated by all developing countries. Since developing countries have dual economies, then they must develop dual regulation, rules and standards to benefit both economies without cannibalizing the other.
this dual economy setup has been a challenge for most governments in developing countries since each segment of these two economies helps the overall country. China went through this 40 years ago and they found a brilliant solution to this that I sh think should be emulated by all developing countries. Since developing countries have dual economies, then they must develop dual regulation, rules and standards to benefit both economies without cannibalizing the other. 